The Sand Jackal In the video where I am painting Anubis, I mentioned that the jackals dig the graves at night in search of food. That inspired me to create this painting. Since it is evening, I painted the sky dark with a combination of Mars black and ultramarine blue. The desert landscape is a ruin of ancient structures. It fascinates me because it gives that surreal feeling of solitude and emptiness. The ruins also give the thoughts of how it was before. Probably a magnificent ancient structures with bustling streets, trays of goods, aromas, and spices. And a crowd of people, both local and foreigners, flocking everywhere. Suddenly, you will wonder what happened and where did they all go? Was this a commercial area that suddenly became a war zone? And stench of death is everywhere. Or did the people migrated to other capital cities and the place was totally abandoned? Well, no one really knows. Only time, if time will tell so. This landscape serves as the middle ground. The moon and the sky is the background. And the mummy feet with its body under the sand and the jackal are in the foreground. I painted the moon blue-gray. As always, I'm trying to avoid colors like yellow. I tried to put as much detail on the craters of the moon so it won't look cartoony. The moon reminds me of the days I was doing photography where I can capture a photo of it because I am using a telephoto. Now I'm painting it. Also, did you notice the moon does not revolve and that we will always see one side of it? What's on the other side? It's a mystery. For the ruins, I was still figuring out how to make it realistic. It's quite hard to paint the rocks because of their texture. I swear I will keep on practicing. For the jackal, I am excited to paint its mane at the back. It is actually called black back jackal but if you observe closely it's not black it is a violet ish dark gray i was able to obtain this color with a mixture of ultramarine blue mars black alizarin crimson and titanium white i really love this mixture actually it is like liquitex paints gray I just noticed that golden artist colors and Liquitex have different shades of paints gray. That of golden artist color is bluish while Liquitex is violet-ish. Perhaps I can test the heavy body Liquitex and make a video about it. It took me time to finish the painting because I have some motion graphic projects. And uh, I think I mentioned before that I really like to move to a motion graphic career. So I'm trying to budget my time allocating uh, time for practice for animation. Overall, I'm so happy about the painting and it feels so me. Colors are muted and the texture speaks for the painting. Oh, by the way, I also used wet brush technique and dry brush technique.
And there is also a storyboard between the three images as if the moon, the jackal, and the feet of the mummy are speaking with each other. For the tools I used, um, they are acrylic pad, black queso, masking tape, drawing board, easel, derwent, white charcoal, golden clear leveling gel, borsani bonanzi paint brushes, palette knife, phoenix tear of palette, liquid x basic, with colors of Ultramarine, Mars Black, Titanium White, Burnt Shena, and Gumbar Varnish. I posted this into Reddit Egypt community and received only 34 votes. I do not know why it has few votes. Perhaps I was not able to personalize the title or maybe because I posted it during weekend. Sometimes when I make a post during Friday, it gets many votes. There is no comment also. Well, I hope you like my video about the San Jackal. So, by the way, I am a graphic designer. I also create websites, motion graphics, and video editing. So, to know more about my services, please visit my website, sanjackal.com, to see also the gallery of my artworks thank you for watching